Ciao a tutti, stasera siamo qui al Circolone di Legnano e con noi abbiamo gli A Place to Bear Strangers che si esibiscono con l'unica data italiana del loro tour 2015. Hi guys! Hello. Allora, questo 2015 per voi è stato molto produttivo. Avete realizzato un album, Trusted Session, e quest'estate è uscito il video del, del singolo Supermaster. A cosa vi siete ispirati e come sono nate queste recentissime creazioni? Well, we're, we're inspired by uh, many different things. Um, our lives, I suppose, inspire us. You know, what happens in our lives, whether it be within the band or uh, in our private lives. Uh, uh, movies, uh, art. Uh, Tortured souls. Il tour 2014 prevede un sacco di date, soprattutto nell'est Europa. Come mai questa scelta? Um, at this part of the, uh, the tour, 2015, this is like the second tour that we did in Europe and um, we tried to, actually the third tour, and uh, we just kind of tried to go to as many places as possible and we had such a good time going to um, Eastern Europe three years ago, 2013, and so um, it seemed natural with such good reaction to kind of go back and have a good time and it's always cool to go to different places where you can meet different people and eat different crazy food and get crazy. Trovate molte differenze tra fare tour nel USA e fare tour invece in Europa? Yeah, I mean, um, one, the food is better here, uh, here in Europe. Um, depends where you go. Uh, good coffee. The people, depending also, I mean, Depending what city you're in, the people really seem more engaged and into it and crazier. Um, in the US, that's like hit or miss. Yeah, I'd just say overall, it's you can play to more different kinds of people too. You know? so there's so many different countries here, and all the crowds are different. Um, and that's neat, seeing all the culture everywhere. It feels like, like you're backpacking, traveling, and experiencing what's out here and also getting to play your music, it's really, um, that's inspiring too. Oliver, il vostro genere musicale è in qualche modo collegato alla tua attività di produzione di pedali per chitarra ed effetti con Death by Audio? I think uh, Dion would be best to answer this one. Well, I think uh, it's, it's cool because um, Yeah, they're, they're both kind of intertwined, they both do a sound, and uh, one, one project kind of dances off the other and vice versa constantly. Uh, so they just kind of both push each other along and, and, then, and effect a new, a, new, a new effect pedal might spark an idea for a song, and, or, or a song idea might spark an idea for an effects pedal. So, yeah, Pensate che la vostra anima emerga maggiormente nei live o anche gli album hanno la stessa importanza per voi? Uh, they're two different things, you know, the, the recordings and live. We've tried to capture live, the live, the, ex the experience you get from a live show recording and it doesn't always translate. Um, on this record though, it, it does on some songs, there's one that we wrote and recorded on the spot live and it's on the album um, and that's something we didn't even expect to happen you know sometimes you have ideas for songs and it doesn't work and it takes a while for a song to come together and this was just in the moment and that's kind of the closest we've ever gotten to emulating the live experience but the live show I mean for me at least that's why i like to write albums, you know, so I can play them live. And playing them live, it's, at least with this band and with Oliver and Dion, it's a new experience every single day. And it's all, there's a lot of improvisations, we mess up all the time, things go wrong, but that's really cool how we sort of put it back together. And another thing that I love about this band is that, uh, 
we we try to just change the um, wherever we play. We try to just sort of put the listener in our world, you know, and, and make it scary and uncomfortable. And, um, and I get scared. I got yesterday. I got hit in the head with his bass. That wasn't planned, you know. Every no it's always different. You never know what to expect. We don't even know what to expect. Um, but so yeah, for me, the soul of this band is in the live shows. But um, yeah, it's different on the records. I think it depends on on who you are, really. Um, uh, I don't know. I th I think for me, probably live. I don't know. Just because you know. You're right there. The crowd's right there. That you, you you also have the visual, you know, aspect as, as well as just the oral thing. And um, I don't know. I, I guess that makes it a little bit more intense, a bit more uh, uh, palpable when it comes to the the soul, as you put it. When also uh, like creating our music, I think that we kind of are aware of both of these things, that there is a big difference. And um, when recording an album, that's not necessarily like trying to imitate something that's live. And so when there's a live show, you really kind of, you know, do all sorts of things that you'd never be able to do on a record, like move speakers around, and, you know, throw things at people and stuff. And so... Uh, you have this opportunity to do that, to kind of, you know, grab them and bring them in. And when it's on a record, you kind of, you have to use sort of other different kinds of elements and kind of tricks. And usually, I think at least for our music, it's sort of almost even made a lot of times for people to listen to on their own and be alone. And then being at a show, though, it's kind of, you know, it's obviously going to be some sort of event where you're there with your peers and kind of dancing or going crazy or something and so um, you know we don't ever try to like emulate one or the other it's like two different things hello Viva Mag readers we're placed for strangers grazie mille saluto lettore di Viva Mag